Hey guys, welcome back to the basement. Uh, doing this video just for a really quick update on my aquarium. Uh, I'm deciding to run Zeovit on this tank. Uh, for those of you that don't know what Zeovit is, look it up. A lot of people don't know what it is, even people that use it uh, don't really seem to know what exactly it is besides it works. Um, I've been researching it for a while and I've always wanted to run a Zeovit tank. My tank is new and getting set up. They recommend starting it from the get-go, uh, so I'm a little late to that, but uh, I'm, I, I researched it and I'm going to try to do everything to the best of my ability. Uh, so yeah, uh, so this is what I have so far. Uh, I got the starter package off of Bulk Reef Supply. Um, this is the 3 liter uh, Vertex Zeovit reactor. It's, uh, it ran me about 250 bucks, but it's honestly one of the cheaper reactors if you could believe it. I got two bags of the Zeovit, which is basically the Zeolite basically these rocks which you put in the reactor um, and then once a day you have to shake them so this little handle here lifts up and down and you have to basically expense this slime that uh, builds up on these rocks through your system and it feeds your corals and whatnot so this is kind of a nutrient export uh, media they recommend if you are going to run Zeovit do not run uh, any other carbon besides their carbon and they do not rec recommend a GFO reactor because the Zeovit is supposed to do that. Um, I got the Zeobac, which is the bacteria, the Zeo food, uh, which is the food for the corals, I assume, and the Zeo start. This all came from like the startup package. Uh, so, what I, I've already done a couple things wrong. One, I didn't start the system with Zeovit, and two, I used live sand, which they do not recommend doing. Uh, for whatever reason, I, I think it's something with the uh, nitrifying bacteria in the sand combating with the uh, bacteria that Zeovit is producing. But I can't go back now. I'm certainly not going to empty my sand bed and kill all the sand. I, I feel like that would do more harm than good at this point. Uh, so if you are thinking about running Zeovit, they do recommend using dead rock and dead sand. So keep that in mind. I am in no way a Zeovit expert. I am a beginner. This is my first tank I'm gonna be running on Zeovit. I will be documenting the whole thing and just letting you know how it goes, especially with the live sand, because I think a lot of people are gonna to wanna to convert their tanks to Zeovit. They say to the best time to do it is before putting in corals. So my corals are actually still in that 30 gallon. Uh, only the fish are in the big tank. So they say to do it before adding the corals so your tank is stable at a low nutrient level. Uh, and then you could add the corals. From my understanding, this system is very involved. It involves daily dosing, uh, daily pumping of the reactor, does not do it automatically. So I would not hop into the Zeovet system if you're one of those people who likes to come down, scrub the glass on your tank once a week, and have everything else automated. I, this system is pretty in depth and involved. The only negatives I could say right off the bat is the amount of documentation over the product is really, really limited. There's a form where a lot of people uh, tell their experiences and they tell you kind of how to use the product. But for example, I, I just want to know uh, if some of the stuff needs to be refrigerated. Because I, I know a lot of the times like amino acid, once they're open, uh, you should refrigerate them. And even looking it up, like I saw a couple forms saying, does this need to be refrigerated? There are no real clear answers. Uh, so the documentation is really limited, and there's about a thousand of, of these freaking blue bottles, and they all do something different. So for the time being, I'm actually going to do, I'm going to take out the Zeo food, I'm going to wait until I add corals, I'm going to do Zeo start and the Zeo back with the uh, media from here. I have to do a little bit more research before I put this in. I know you have to rinse it first, which it does not say... Uh, doesn't say anywhere on the bag, so there's no instructions that come with it. I, I believe you have to rinse the rocks beforehand, just get all that dust off there. Um, and I, I think you have to use, so I have a 180 gallon tank and then, you know, the water volume in the sump. So we're gonna say an estimate around 220 gallons. I'm probably just gonna stick. So, so this is a three, media, uh, three liter reactor and they say a liter per 
100 gallons. So theoretically, I need a little over two of these bags, uh, but some people are saying to use half first. So I might only put a bag and a half in uh, just to play it safe. And then I'll up it to two bags in the future. I don't think I'm gonna go over two bags. I don't think I'm gonna do like two in an eight bag or whatever. I, I think I'm just gonna stick to two bags in the reactor and see how that goes. Uh, so hopefully this keeps me at a low nutrient state. They say, so going back to the whole live sand thing, they say the one major thing that people see wrong uh, if they start with live sand is a cyano outbreak. So, but I, I, I'm not, like I said, I'm not 100% sure because I know a handful of people who have done Zeovit and had a lot of success converting existing reefs, which obviously have live sand and moving systems over to Zeovit. So we will see. I also ordered their uh, cyano clear from their line uh, just in case something pops up. So if I do start to see cyano, hopefully I could take care of it. Uh, I'm trying to do this tank uh, right this time around, and this is the system I decided on. Uh, I never had much luck with bio balls. Uh, I know a lot of people do, and that's awesome, but I kind of always wanted to run a Zeovit system, and I know it's a challenge uh, and involves a lot of uh, housekeeping. So I look forward to showing you guys how this reacts with my system. And if you have any questions for me, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to answer. Because like I said, I am a noob at Zeovit currently. Hopefully I can do, uh, I'm going to document my progress. And if I uh, have good results, maybe I can, I'm going to document that. And then you guys can follow uh, my program. But like I said, right now I'm going to leave the Zeo food out. Use the uh, Zeolite Media Zeo Start and the Zeo Back and I in this reactor. Oh, and also this reactor, uh, really nice packaging. I really liked the way Vertex sent this over to me. It reminded me a lot of Apple packaging. Came in a really nice box, uh, pretty big. I'm not gonna have a lot of room in the sump to pump the media. I had measured it out a bunch of times before ordering it, and I had just enough because originally I ordered the 1.5 liter, which does not hold enough media for my size aquarium. And if you guys couldn't tell, I do have the canopy on. You can see I got ratchet straps up there. Uh, just to lift it up so I could still do maintenance because I didn't get a door installed on the canopy So it's a little hard to get in there without a ladder uh, And you can kind of see the tank. It's a little blue uh, You can kind of see that what the tank looks like lit up. So that is all for today uh, I will be documenting this so stay tuned, but yeah, that is where I'm at with my tank right now. Thanks guys